maintaining a fluoride probe. Normally just keep it as it is, with the end covered, to, just to protect the membrane on the bottom. That bit there. And normally what happens in, in normal use, you can depress the top. So with your thumb, you can push down and liquid will empty from the bottom. Now you can see this one, it's clearly there's crystals inside and that will suppress the response. So what we're going to do is clean those out. There you can see them now. We need to remove those crystals. So what we do is we unscrew this bit here at the top, slide it back up the cable out of the way, and then we can gently push down whilst holding the outer sleeve. we can push the center down at the bottom of the electrode. Like, like so. And then using some DI water, just rinse the, the crystals off make sure that there's nothing, there's none on there, there we go, look, there's crystals there, and that's what suppressed the response. This is quite a bad example, on an old electrode. Just rinse that. Put it back up into the sleeve and we're just going to rinse it with some DIY water again like so and then just push it down to empty it so now we'll pull it back into the sleeve and what we're going to do we're then going to screw the top back on Just finger tight, not too hard, not too tight. And with some filling solution, we're just gonna we're gonna rinse the electrode first. So we're just gonna just gonna half fill the electrode and then depress and just let the liquid run out, and that'll rinse it. fill it up to the hole and that's it job done